Hey everybody, my name is Lisa King. Welcome to King Worldwide. We had a great trip um, in the Upper North Area near Chicago last week, and we're con con continuing on with God's operating system and God's way of success. And today, I am literally taking this talk from Brother Jesse Duplantis. I was on the treadmill last night reading, that's where I read magazines, and it was the best article, and I wanted to like, study it and study it. So I studied it again this morning and I'm like, Lord, can we please talk about this? And yes, it's very simple. So um, I'm going to be reading right from the article, but these are the things that I put into practice myself, talking about our rights and our privileges. And as Christians, we should never be caught wallowing in our circumstances because our scriptural rights have been purchased by Jesus's blood. Um, this is the truth. If we're having situations and we're not overcoming it's not God's fault. He's already done everything by sending Jesus Christ. So I'm going to give you some answers and some tips and some scriptures that you can go to and study the word of God because Jesus Christ is the answer to everything. We've got to claim them. Hey, sweet girl. We've got to claim our rights that Jesus bought for us. If someone challenges any type of claim, usually it's someone, Satan through someone, we've got to stand on our legal rights and fight. That's what the good fight of faith is. Jesus already won, so we're we're not literally battling because the battle's already been won, but we're enforcing victory by standing, by reading scripture, and by speaking. And I'll give you some um, some examples. So you've got to do that. So many Christians try to live life, live successful, do things in life without walking in their rights and their benefits that God has provided for them. That's why people are miserable. Um, people haven't tapped into the most basic right, and that's eternal life through the new birth. So this is for this is for Christians. If you are not saved or born again through Jesus Christ, the Bible calls it you're a slave to sin. You are under the your God, which is the devil, which is the liar. You might not choose that, but by default, that's what happens. So this is a great scripture to go to. Hosea, I might not be saying it right, 4, 6. I, I put it down here. I don't know if y'all can see it, but that's fine. It says, my people, God says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because they have rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. God wants all of us to come into his kingdom. But if people don't take the time, if we don't take the time to get to know him and get to know his word, regardless of what anyone else says, including me, then we're not going to know what he did for us. And I'll tell you, knowing what he did for us, it's that brings the most confidence, victorious life that is incomparable. It doesn't compare to anything in this world. Blessings of all kind, but not like better than what you would think. A lot of times people think they, they only think in the natural mind and they only think of money or feeling good or good job. Those things are part of it. But when you can participate in Jesus healing someone and participate in lives being changed and you know, participate in the glory of God right in your life, there is nothing to compare. And so everything is done for us by Jesus Christ in his word. So our rights originated in the garden. Um, God created Adam and Eve in the garden. I'm not going to go through the story of how um, Satan was an anointed cherub and then he gave up his rights. But then he did. And then Adam ended up giving the rights back to Satan, which is unfortunate. So God had to send his only son. So Jesus redeemed us from every bit of the curse. Jesus Christ who's the son of God, went into the pit of hell and annihilated Satan and all his demons right in their own backyard. And he did that for all of us so we don't have to do it. Jesus came to reverse the entire curse, including the curse of the ground. Jesus redeemed all mankind from the curse of the law. The law is like um, in the Old Testament, you got to do this, you got to do this, you got to do this. And if you sin, you I might be wrong for those Jewish folks following, but the gist of it is that you have to use the blood of goats and animals to atone for your sins and cleanse your sins. But it didn't take away. That's the thing. Jesus Christ is the only blood that took away all the sins. Also, Jesus did what the first Adam should have done. Jesus took dominion over the devil and legally took back the right for mankind to be united with God in this earth. All right. So many people say, all right, that's Jesus. Glory to God. Great. Why aren't more Christians doing it? Because more Christians don't know yet. Satan has no legal right against you and me if we have Jesus Christ in our Lord in our hearts. 
a lot of people are floundering and they say they're Christian, but the thing is they don't know yet the truth of the gospel. So they need to get into the word. And what we do at King Worldwide is help uh, penetrate and help people get into the word of God so they can find out for themselves. All right, because he is still ruling and reigning over everyone who doesn't know Jesus, Satan has a legal right to sell them into slavery, to get them on drugs, to bring them divorce, and starve them into famine. He has the right to steal, kill, and destroy, but he doesn't have the right to bring any of these curses on the believer, on anybody who accepts Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior and gives them their life, gives them their heart. You can read in John 14, 12 through, 11, I mean 12 through 14, about uh, Jesus saying, Verily, I verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also in greater works than he'll do, because he goes to the Father. So with the Holy Spirit, we do greater works. It's not in anything that we do. So don't think it's Lisa or this ministry. It's not, nothing. I am an open vessel for God Almighty to live and work through. When anyone starts making themselves a big deal, that's the problem because none of us are anything compared to Jesus Christ. With him in us, we're everything. So Jesus always glorified the Father. So I'm giving you that scripture so you can know to go back and see who has the rights, who has what rights we have, and how are we going to do greater works. Jesus always glorified the Father, so we're going to glorify the Father. By doing the same thing Jesus did, when we do the same things Jesus did, we'll get the same results. But the heart has to be right. You cannot do anything really in life with just your head and expect to have exceptional results unless your heart is involved too. Your spirit and your heart are one. Your head comprises of your mind, your will, emotions. So the heart has to be involved. Let me say another point here. We have to understand our rights and privileges and start claiming them. And we have to believe what God says in his word. It doesn't matter if no one else believes. I honestly don't care anymore because God has showed me through so many things about Showing me how to sow and reap, how to give and bless, how to lay my life down unto him so that he can live through me and then get out of the way and let him do it. The more I'm out of the way, the more great things happen. And I just hear what he says and just do it. And it's, it's, he's just asking us to do the same so he can show us how great life is. Okay, I'm wrapping up. So we're supposed to talk about what God has done for us. Jesus delegated all his authority to us. Chapter 14 says it. And he said that um, we're seated in heavenly places. Therefore, take authority over situations. Okay, these are the scriptures here for that. Matthew 28, 18 talks about Jesus has been given all authority. Then he says, you go and you do what I did. So it's right there. Ephesians 1, 17 through 23 talks about our rights and authority. Ephesians 2, 6. And we just did uh, John 14, 12 through 14. Let me just finish up r real quick. Um, so if you're not having the things that you want or you think the promises that God says in his word, because all his promises are yes and amen, healing, uh, abundance, peace, joy, just life, just being able to enjoy a beautiful sunny day, being able to enjoy a rainy day. Rainy doesn't, doesn't mean bad. It just means going to water the plants. So it's, a, it's about understanding who we are in Christ and using and exercising our rights and authority. And we have to claim them. The way we claim them is by speaking the word and glorifying God. You can glorify God in everything you do. When good things happen, you say, glory to God. That, thank you, Lord, for doing that. When someone says, where'd you get that new car? Glory to God. The Lord provided. No, they'll say, no, really, really. No, really. God Almighty told me to believe for it, and God Almighty delivered it to me. That's it. There's nothing else more. If you really want to know more, because that's going to be happening very soon, then you're going to have to start going back to all the periscopes we've done. And you might think, well, my, you're so confident or so cocky. You know what? I'm, I am very confident. I'm confident in Jesus Christ, who is the Savior. I'm not confident in myself. I tried to do it myself for 42 years, and it was nothing. It didn't nothing happen. Like, it was just frustration after frustration. Now, getting out of the way and just doing what God says to do, talk about him all the time, speak, read, him, read about him, live for him. He just tells us what to do and we do it because you know why? He wants to bless us. He wants to bless all of his people. And when he's blessed all of his people and everyone says, look what God did for me, then everyone will want to know about God because the nations of the world cannot even compete to the almighty God and our Savior. Okay, I keep saying one last thing. Um, okay, all power has been given unto us. Uh, I think I said that. Okay, I just wanted to read the last one real quick. The very last one, Ephesians 2, 6. 
where it says, it talks about our, our um, rights and authority in Ephesians 1, 17 through 23. But in Ephesians 2, 6, it says, Jesus has raised us up together. God has raised us up together with Jesus and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So this means we have this on our website as far as the authority scriptures. This means that everything's already been done. Hello? Everything's already been done. And all we have to do is get in the word, let it change our heart, and then take authority over things that we don't want by our mouth, by, by glorifying God. So let's see. He said one more thing here. He raised us up to do that. So I think that's it. I just wanted to say we have rights and authority through Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter what the world says. It doesn't matter what our state legislation says. It doesn't matter what the government says. We are to support our government and pray for our government. And yet we are also able to have all these rights and privileges through Jesus Christ. No matter where you are in the world, no matter what you're facing, Jesus Christ is the answer. So we'll see you on Friday. Have a great day and get in the word. Read the word aloud. Let it absorb in your heart and meditate on it day and night. It will change your life. See you soon.